Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do this really cute and colourful fold back card using the Full of Life and the Friends for Life stamps and dies and designer series paper. So it's really quick and easy. So let me just dive straight in and show you how we do it. I'll show you how I cut the heart first of all. So it's two pieces. There are two dies. There's the outside one and there's the inside one which cuts all these pieces. So I laid them carefully inside each other and ran it through my die cutting machine and out the other side popped these. So the outline we don't need but the inside we do need. And then what I did was I ran it through again but I didn't put the fancy overlay on it. I just ran it through as it came on one of the pieces of the wonderfully colourful designer series paper. I think this, well, here's what's left after I had sort of annihilated. It's a really lovely pack of paper. It's got so many different patterns and styles and shapes. And I mean, look at that. I saw this in the catalog and thought, I need that. So this was the piece that I chose to cut all of my hearts out of. I cut the black one, discarded the outside, cut this one, and then I was going to discard the outside, actually, but that's what I put on the inside, just to give it, just to use it up, I suppose, because it's such a fine little thing. And then I glued the black to the designer series paper, and that's what God is that. However, you know me. Here's one I did earlier. Rather than have to watch me put all the little dots of glue on and attach it, that's what I did. I will make a quick mention though. It does have like a little nub at the bottom. You'll see it more over the white. I cut that off because I wanted it to just be a straight heart. So this was the outside when I cut the pieces. This was the black and the black overlay I set off to one side. So the next pieces is really just the body of the card. So I got the designer series paper, the one with the lovely squares. It's got lovely rainbows on the other side. And I cut it down so it would be three quarters of an inch by five and three eighths. And that meant I just got this little slither when I separated them. I got this lovely little slither off the bottom. So let me go ahead and make the body of the card. That would probably be a little bit more helpful. So it's a piece of regular cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half. Whoops. I don't know where my scratch paper's off to. Eight and a half by five and a half. And we're going to score it at four and a quarter. But we're also going to score it at one inch. So line it up on the paper cutter at four and a quarter and score it and then we're going to move it along and you'll remember the stamping up paper trimmer has an inch and a half on this side so it supports all of the weight of the cardstock so we're going to line it up to an inch and score that too and that's going to be the fold back piece so I can pop the fold of the paper trimmer scorer away so we'll Fold it in half as usual, which, as you know, fits into a standardised envelope, just a regular medium old envelope. And then we'll fold back the one inch section. So that is really where the name of the card comes from. The inside piece is just basic white and it's three and one eighth by five and three eighths. So I'll go ahead and pop that in. And more over to the left, just slightly, so that when the cards close, it doesn't peek out. And then what we can do is go ahead and put one of these strips in the space that's left. So when it closes, you don't really see it. I mean, I think you can see it sort of like a smidge, but it's not omni-evident. Let me just get rid of that little hair there for some reason. So we'll go ahead and we'll just put some adhesive down this strip. 
and to touch it. So I think it's really sort of like a sixteenth of an inch all around. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put the other piece on the folded back section. And again, it's just got like a sixteenth of an inch all around. And then what we need to do is we need to make this stay closed. It's always going to want to bounce open. So my recommendation would be to put tear and tape on or the liquid, the mono adhesive liquid glue, because it really needs something that is going to hold it into place and not allow it to bounce back anyway. So I'll put a piece on the inside and I'll put a piece on the outer edge side just to make sure. So we'll trim that off like that. And then when we peel these two backing papers off and close it down, we know it's going to stay firmly put. Then what we need to do is I took the little piece that was cut off because it's six by six designer series paper. And this little piece I thought was quite cute. I didn't want to waste it. So I'm actually going to stick it to the bottom here. And then I'm going to put the heart on with dimensionals, but it needed a little something. So I looked through my stash and I actually found a, lots of squares. And I found a lovely square hello, which is really from an old, old, kit that I had in with my paper pumpkin bits so you can put any greeting there really and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim it down so it nicely just has a nice even cut whoops it has a nice even cut border to it. Oh my goodness me, my scissors are got a little bit sticky. Let me just bring in my handy dandy emergency scissors. And there we have a nice hello. So I'm going to just pop some adhesive on the back of these squares. And then just pop a little bit of adhesive on the hello. and stick it on the top and then this I'm going to put on with some dimensionals just to hold it nicely in place peel the backing stickers off and then we'll just pop those on and all the colors tie in together and like I said because these were squares I just felt having a little sort of angular square greeting would work well and then last but not least I'm going to pop the middle into the white section so I just need to put some little dots of liquid glue I mean it's they're really minuscule I see a lot of people these days are using the micro fine point i really should think about treating myself but you'll see i did it on my silicon pad and a little bit of it overhang but i can just let that dry and then it will peel off and it hasn't made my whole work surface sticky i'm a big fan actually of silicon mats oh i am getting glue everywhere i feel like a kindergartner let loose with the glue so that's that's it, just because I really got that a little bit sticky and I want to close it so you can see it. Normally I would just leave it to air dry and then go back with my sticky eraser. But there you have it, two the same, slightly different because they were cut from a different section of the designer series paper. Each heart inside matches the heart that goes with what there is. And that's it. If you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. All the directions and dimensions, of course, as always, will be on my blog. You can scoot on over there and find them at any time. 
once the video has been released. I am doing Festive Fridays right now. A little while ago, the holiday mini catalogue debuted and I didn't want to take over all my techniques suddenly becoming Christmassy and holidays when it's still really the summer and we're not into that season yet. I know as crafters, we have to be a little bit ahead. So rather than take over my Tuesday videos, I thought I would just do a Friday version and make those the holidays. So hence it got, I've got Technic Tuesdays and Festive Friday. So a nice little bit of alliteration. So that's it, my loves. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Check out my blog. And last but not least, thanks so much for watching.